What's up guys, Kevin here to bring you a new video. Today I wanted to talk about a show that I've been watching uh, that I've just recently finished a season of that's kind of made me question um, whether I should even keep watching it and why I've liked it so much and this made me think a whole lot about it and I just wanted to vent what I think about it and like holy crap this season finale. Like, it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I have a poster of it. It's a show that I've grown to like quite a lot until the last two minutes of the season finale of season five. Now, there's going to be spoilers in this video. Fair warning. So if you haven't seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer and you want to see it, go see it and then watch this video. Or if you don't care, keep watching this video. Anyways, um, so yeah, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, really good show, um, first season's kind of average, you know, Monster of the Week story, it's a little more, like, formulaic in the beginning, um, it, it kind of delves more into, like, the story of Buffy, like, in, like, a, kind of like a storyline that she has, like, over time, and it definitely gets better, especially when season three starts, um, I would just say with like the whole villain arcs with like the print, the mayor in season three and then like, um, Adam in season four, he's not as good, but he's still interesting. Um, and then glory in season five, she's a little old God. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, gotten pretty good, uh, until these last two minutes that I wanted to discuss because Oh my god, this show went off the rails in the final two minutes of season five. Because here's the thing. Okay, they do they do spells. Wh practicing as witches is like a thing in this show. And they do spells to like manipulate certain things. Um, but they vow that in an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer... They vowed never to do resurrection. They said, don't mess with that. That's not good. We're not supposed to mess with that. We don't do that. That's bad. Yada, 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 yada. All episode. And it's a whole episode about saying, don't do resurrection. It's not good. It's not healthy. You know, we have to let the dead pass on. And so on. But here's the thing. Buffy dies literally dies at the end of season five and there's two more seasons after that so hmm wonder how the show's gonna continue oh that's right they're gonna bring her back wait i thought i thought resurrection was bad oh oh because she's the slayer i guess i guess it's not so bad now because she's the slayer and you have to bring her back because the show can't continue without Buffy, the vampire slayer, being on the show? No. Get the fuck out of here. Don't hit me with that bullshit. Oh yeah, it's fine, you know, she's the slayer, we gotta bring her back now. No. Fuck. Off. Show. I hate you. I despise you right now. Like, oh my god, I'm so pissed at what just happened because of this like like the show theoretically should have been over like in a sense like like and Buffy wasn't just dead she was like dead dead like she was six feet under they showed her gravestone she was like actually dead and like okay she's dead the show's over. No more seasons. That's it. Oh, kind of shitty ending. Uh, what a shame. But, you know what? That's okay. Because, you know, we don't need to revive the dead. Because we don't do that on the show. Oh, wait. I guess we do. Because Buffy, Buffy must continue for two more seasons. Like, uh, okay. Like, like, I don't, I don't think there's anything that can be said on the show where they'll be like, 
oh, like, I guess, I guess it's okay now because it's Buffy. Like, there's, there's nothing that they can hit me with on the show that's going to convince me that it's okay now. Because I was, I literally watched an entire episode in season five where they spent the entire episode saying, don't resurrect this person. Don't do it. Because what had happened was Buffy's mom had died and Buffy's sister, Dawn, wanted to bring her back. And, like, the witches, Willow and Tara, were just like, no, don't do that, don't do that, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. And they are like, urging her against it, and, and like, she vowed she wouldn't do it, and then she did it against, like, everyone's will. Like, she was the one going against the entire show's will. She was the one making the bad decision. And now what? You're going to start season six with making that same bad decision to bring your main character back? Huh? Like, what? It just, it doesn't make any freaking sense. And, like, also, like, for for those who have watched the show, like, I just think, I don't know, for those who maybe haven't as well, I just think it could have ended a lot differently. So, essentially, um, Dawn's is Buffy's sister, and she held the key to opening a portal to let all the evil things out, and the only way to, I guess, stop the portal from staying open was to kill Dawn, or if Buffy killed herself. And the problem was, she had already started bleeding, so once you start bleeding, once she started bleeding, the portal was open, so the only way to close the portal was to kill her. Um, so, I mean, at that point, you know, the logical thing to do, I hate to say it, would be for Dawn to die, because she's not the main character, and she's not the Slayer, and she's also technically not real, and she's also only been on the show for one season, so if you kill off Michelle Trachtenberg, is it really that bad? Like, is it, is, is it, does it really hurt you that much, Buffy? Like, like, I get that she's your sister and all, but, like, come on. Like, okay, she's your sister. You've had a lot of great memories with her, but, like, this is the world you're talking about. And she was, and just to put it into context, too, she was saying that she'd be willing to, too. She'd be willing to jump, jump off and kill herself. So that she could save the world. Nope. Nope. Buffy's like, I'll do it. I can do it. Like, okay. Well, this went a different direction. I mean, I guess it, I guess I kind of see it a little bit. Because, like, she just cared that much about, like, letting everyone live. That she'd rather take her own life than kill someone. But, like... Like, I don't even know. Like, it's just, it, it's hard. It's hard to process that. But, like, yeah, it's just it's just a weird turn of events. But the fact is, the sh- if the show ended, was really destined to end that way, I mean, if the season was really just in, destined to end that way, then the show just should have ended. And it didn't. And I'm really disappointed at that. And I don't know when I'm going to start watching this show again, or if I really want to, there's two seasons left, and I just, I don't know if I want to, like, I'm just so, I feel so betrayed by this show, like, sometimes you just watch a show, and, like, you finish, you finish it, or you finish a season, and you just hurt on the inside, and this is just, like, one of those times, like, God damn it, Buffy. Like, why you gotta be like that? Like, fuck. But, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes shows will do that. But anyways, um, it's a it's a great fun show. Um, really fun, actually. Great storylines, great Monster of the Week storylines, great, you know, um, overarching storylines over the course of the seasons. Lots of good, diverse characters throughout. Yeah, it, it's a great show, but... Yeah, just those last two minutes, like, fuck. 
either way, I just wanted to vent out my thoughts about this matter. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.